what is a code point? Or how to confuse new programmers with ampersands and stars. Maybe you've started work on coding your dream game. You've installed C++ or C Sharp and suddenly you're seeing stars. Well, what gives? Well, the stars are pointers. Now imagine that your computer's memory is a giant library. Each book is a variable, each shelf is a memory address, and you are a slightly confused in intern trying to find where the coffee machine is. Now let's say you've got a variable, let's call it int sandwich equals three, that lives somewhere in memory. A pointer doesn't hold the sandwich, oh no. A pointer holds a sticky note that says, sandwich is in aisle four, second shelf from the left. This is what a pointer does. It stores a memory address, not the value itself, just the location of the value, because Apparently, we love indirectness in programming. So instead of giving a function the sandwich itself, you just give it the sticky note. Here you go, mate, fetch it yourself. Why? Because copying a sandwich every time is expensive. And what if the function wants to change the sandwich? Say to add pickles. If you gave it a copy, you've now got a function eating pickles while your original sandwich remains unpickled. Sad. Using a pointer means the function walks into the same fridge, grabs the actual sandwich, and chucks on whatever fillings it liked. Congratulations your sandwich has been mutated. Now, some of you might be wondering, what happens if your pointer points somewhere that isn't a sandwich? Like thin air, boom, segmentation fault. It's the programming equivalent of walking into a wall because your GPS said turn left, but you forgot you were already on a cliff. So in summary, a code pointer is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable. It's like saying, don't give me the actual chocolate bar, just tell me where you've hidden it. And if you lose the map, well, enjoy your crash. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.